Good morning. Um, Annie is my pissed off voice, pretty much. Like, this is my normal voice. Actually, no, this isn't even my normal voice. This is me kind of bringing it up a bit because I'm trying to, you know, like I'm being enthusiastic and all of that, you know. Hi, guys. Good morning. Come on in. Come on in. Um, but for Annie, it's just she, because she's so emotionless and so hard, you just have to bring it down really low. So it's kind of like it's the first thing you sound like when you wake up in the morning. And when you get a phone call that wakes you up from a deep sleep and you just answer the phone and you sound like, what do you want? Why are you calling me this early in the morning? You know, so that, you know, that's different. It just drops a few octaves lower. And it's, it's, it's kind of difficult in some ways because in the scenes where um, Annie has to sound, well, not emotional, but... You know, in a couple of scenes in Titan, there's, there's, um, you know, there's one where she's yelling, where she's running away from one of the Titans in the earlier episodes. Um, and then there's, uh, there's a scene where she says, I'll be damned, you know, and I still had to sound like pretty low and I still had to sound like I was still the same actress. So it, it's, it's tough, but you know, it's, it's still my voice, but luckily, uh, it's not completely different. Kyoko is different because it's really high pitched and really, like, way just up there. Uh, so that is way, like, different from my normal speaking voice. So hopefully that answers your question. You're welcome. Yes, yes. Hi. Hey. I do? They all sound the same to me because it's me. No, I'm teasing you. I'm pulling a Dana Snyder. <laughs> Was anybody at the voice actor panel yesterday? Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Your question. No. So pretty much how it works is the characters are made already, and we match what the Japanese sounds like. That's that's pretty much the basic line of it. Um, and we we try and respect the original Japanese as much as we possibly can without it being too stupid. Um, so like. The reason, you know, when you go on forums and when you hear fans, like, complaining about, what the heck, why is this different from the Japanese translation? Because if we did it directly from the Japanese translation, it would sound horrible. That's why. Because Americans don't speak that way. We don't speak the same way that the Japanese do. So it's different. Not only that, but we have to also be sensitive to how much you can fit in the, mat the lip flaps, you know. But uh, that's not what you asked. Anyway, so um, when we get projects in from Japan or China, what, wherever, you know, wherever we're dubbing, whenever we're dubbing a project, we get, the actors will get sides in and they'll say the character name, their personality, kind of a little description on their character, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then we listen to a reference of them in Japanese and then we just copy that. And by copy, I don't mean exactly because it won't sound exactly the same, but we still try and match it as much as we possibly can. Um, and if the director says, no, that's too high, no, that's too low, then we just do what the director wants, but the director still respects what the original Japanese is. Does that make sense? You're welcome. Hi, Hi guys. Come on in. Yes, sir. Hi. You guys are so polite. You like, you raise your hand and you're like, hi, go ahead. Um, I don't really have the time to, unfortunately, and not only that, but I don't have a PS3. I know, it's terrible. Um, the last latest game system that I have is Xbox 360, um, and, uh, I still, I, I barely, it's like collected dust by now, it's terrible. But, um, I, I, the last game that I played that I was in was, um, one of the Blaze Blue games, but that's really loud. It's very loud. Come on in and, and sit down and, and have fun with us. Anyway, um, can, is there any way you can turn that off? <laughs> um, anyway, so I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah, Blaze Blue. That's the last video game that I played. Uh, and I know that Lychee won Evo, so that's really cool. Uh, I cannot play as Lychee. She's way too technical for me. Um, I play as Tager because he can stomp on people, and I'm a button masher, so... But um, 
I really want to play Tales. Like, I want to play Tales of Exilia and Tales of Exilia 2. Um, and I really, really want to play... Another thing that I did was um, I was one in Drakengard 3. Did anybody play Drakengard 3? Yeah? It's bloody, isn't it? It's awesome, right? And it's gorgeous, but I don't have a PS3, so I can't play it. And it sucks, but I really, really want a PS3 so I can play that. <sighs> that was very interesting because I can hear you breathing. It's like Darth Vader. It's awesome. <laughs> um, anyway, so it's, yeah, Dragon Guard 3 was one of the, my favorite games that I ever worked on because the character that I play is like the big boss, one of the big bosses at the end. There's her and then there's another one. But she is pretty quiet throughout the entire game. And then, oh, there's a Mikasa cosplayer. Hi, Mikasa. Um, I can kick your ass, by the way. Um, but um, anyway, so uh, she is regal and quiet throughout the whole game. And then at the end of the game, she just goes nuts. It's really fun. So anyway, hopefully that answers your question. Awesome. You're wearing a Dragon Ball shirt. That's really cool. I'm a Dragon Ball fan. Well, actually, no, more like Dragon Ball Z. So, yeah. Anyway. <sighs> you guys, you have to ask me questions. I can't just stand here. Yes, Yvonne? That's not a good thing that I know your name, by the way. No, I'm teasing. D what? Uh-huh. Yeah. Pole arms? Oh, 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 I was like, is that a euphemism? I don't know what that means. Like, I don't get that. Uh, no, I was, I thought you were going to go in a different direction, but then I thought, no, Kyoko's kind of underdeveloped, so, um, no, that didn't occur to me till now, but thank you. So, so, oh, I have a, I have a rule, you guys. You ready for the rule? You're going to love it. You're going to hate me. Um, the rule is, if you guys are all sitting there just staring at me and not doing anything, I get to pick on anybody that I want, and you have to ask a question. Yeah, that's right. So first, I'm going to start with the girl who's holding Cube. Yeah. There's a fly. Go away, fly. You're here, so you must have a question. Well, she has a question. I'm coming back to you, though. I'm coming back to you, man, so you got to think of a question. Yes. Are you Grell? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I get the same, the same wig, same hair. So, sorry. Continue. Uh, good morning. Good morning. How do you get into voice acting? Okay, thank God. Um, a lot of people ask me, um, a lot of fans ask me, like, what do you think of their relationship? What do you think? Well, um, it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it, what I tell everybody, do you have an alpaca? You have to, can I, can I hold the alpaca? I, I promise I'll give it back to you, but, like, I, I have this thing, you guys. I love alpacas. <gasps> oh, my gosh, yay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there you go. There you, no, 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 go sit. Go sit. You're done. It's my evil minion for, like, the rest of the panel. I'll give it back to you, I promise. Um, what's your name? Al Alice or Alex? Allison. Oh, I was close. Kind of. Thank you, Allison. Anyway, um, a lot of people ask me, like, what do you think of their relationship and blah, blah, blah. And I, what I tell them is, well, it's really the great thing about Madoka is that it leaves it up to the audience. You know what I mean? Like, can they be friends? Yeah. Can they be friends with feelings? Of course. Like, it can go in any direction. Either way, I don't care. You know, like, and when I say I don't care, I don't mean, like, I don't care. I mean, like, either way, I'm good with either way it goes. Um, I know that there was somebody that asked me uh, this question in the autograph line yesterday, and um, what I told them was, you know, obviously they have a bond, they have a connection, um, like, kind of like uh, Homura and Madoka have almost. I think it's kind of similar. Um, so, yeah, that's how I see it. Um, Again, I can't put a label on it because I feel like if I put a label on it, then 
other people are going to say, oh, maybe that's what I should, th-, you know, because I was a part of the show. And I don't want to do that. I want to leave it up to the audience's imagination and what they want it to be. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? So I, I see that they have a strong, obviously they have a bond, they have a connection. Um, did you see Rebellion? Well, they're, they're kind of roommates in Rebellion, so, you know, <laughs> you never know. Um, but, yeah, that's what I think. I think they, they have a connection and a strong bond, and I think it's great. Um, I think it's I, – I th- I'm pretty sure that, they, you know, each girl, well, in the movie, uh, Rebellion, each girl has a companion, but – in the series, obviously, we don't really get to see if mommy has a companion or not. Um, but, yeah, I think, and Cube is just, you know, Cube being evil and whatnot. Um, but, yeah, so I think that definitely they have a strong bond, strong friendship, and, and a relationship regardless, you know. If it's romantic or not, they still have a connection. I think that's what is really cool about it. So, you're welcome. Yes. Good morning. You guys are so nice. Hopefully it's because I didn't scare you into being polite. Sorry, go ahead. (laughs) My wallet got happy. (laughs) And I was able to pay my rent, so I was very happy. No, um, Tales of Exilia is an interesting game because I have many, many uh, women that will come up to me and out of all the characters that I've played, out of all the characters that I've played, women will come up to me and say, Leia is my favorite character out of the whole game because she makes such a huge, uh, uh, what's the word? She grows throughout the entire game, and she's one of the strongest female characters in this entire game. And it was awesome hearing that because, unfortunately, well, it's not unfortunate. Hmm. For women in video games and in anime, a lot of the time they're overly sexualized, which is not a bad thing sometimes, but when it's overdone and when that's all they're good for in anime and video games, it's a little stupid. Um, so, you know, and I, and I happen to know because I play a lot of characters that are, you know, like the booby lady, there's a reason why she's called the booby lady. It's because she has a big chest, but it's, and it's a joke and it's funny, but apart from being a sexy character, she still has, um, you know, a maternal instinct to her. She's very kind. She's very loving. She's a good fighter. Um, but Leia is very, you know, she starts off as very insecure and very like, I just want to be with Jude, you know, and it's like, honey, it's never going to happen. Um, but, you know, I see her more with Alvin personally, but, you know, that's just because of, like, what happens in the game. Um, but, um yeah, I mean, it, it, Tales was a great game to, uh, to I was going to say play. I haven't played it yet. Uh, Tales was a great team, game to record for. The cast is amazing. And actually, a uh, little tidbit, you guys. Uh, the actress who plays Mila? Mila? Is that her name? Yeah. Green, green hair? Green? Yes? The, yes. The, well, yeah, the goddess, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's Mila, right? Well, um, Manai Noji is the voice actress for her. Did anybody see the the terrible, awful Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie? Yes. She was Shredder's right-hand woman. Yeah, that's her. So anytime you see her on screen, you're like, oh, my God, that's Mila from, yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's why I went to see it, just for her, because, you know, support. Because it was bad. Oh, my God, it was so bad. Um, I Because I'm a huge Turtles fan, and, like, well, like, I don't remember any of it now, but, like, I used to watch it, and the original movie was awesome, and, like, <clears throat> regardless of how cheesy those suits were, they still beat the CGI that was in the new movie. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so, yeah, hopefully that answers your question. I, I go off on tangents. All the way in the back! Hello! No, never. We're in each other's bubbles. We stay in our bubbles. We never interact because we are terrified of each other. You ever watch The Wild Kingdom and you're like, I'm going to watch this person sneak up on their prey. That's kind of what actors are like. No, I'm teasing. Um, Absolutely. Um, A lot of people in the shows and the games that I've worked on, a lot of them are very dear friends of mine. Um, Matthew Mercer, who is Levi in Titan, and he was Alvin in Tales of Exilia. He's one of my dearest friends. I, I love him dearly. Um, 
Patrick Seitz, who is Ragna, the Blood Edge, and, uh, um, sorry, Blaze Blue. He's one of my dear friends. Oh, yeah, like, I, I make it a point to at least either, if I haven't met the cast member, I, I will meet them at some point, even I have to track them down. Um, no, <laughs> but, yeah, absolutely. A lot of us tend to be really good about socializing with that, unless our lives are way too busy, like, Veronica Taylor, for example, she and I met, uh, you know, at an audition, and sometimes that's how it happens, but it was very brief, so sometimes you meet people and it's really quick, and then it's a, oh, hi, you're so, and so, oh, yeah, hi, oh, hi, goodbye, you know, and see you later, so, but yeah, I'm very fortunate to have worked with a lot of people that are my dear friends, so it's cool, I have an awesome job. Yes, sir? I cannot hear you. Uh, if I was not voice, the question was, if you were not voice acting, what else would you be doing? I have a very big, a very big interest in psych, in psychiatry and psychology. So I would probably see myself as a marriage and family or, or a children psychiatrist or therapist. Cause I like doing that. I like helping people. Yeah. Is that what you're studying? Awesome. Awesome, man. Are you studying psychology or psychiatry? Good for you. That's awesome, man. That's really cool. Good for you. Yeah, that's definitely something that I would I would think of um, to do. Like that's that's something that I wanted to do before um before this dropped into my lap. So you know maybe it might happen one day. But either way, I'm happy with my job. Very happy. But yeah, I I like talking to people. I like listening to. Um, you know, if they have an issue, if one of my friends has an issue or whatever, I like being the soundboard for them. And if they want my advice, I can give it to them. Obviously I'm not certified, so I'm not, you know, giving the best advice, but you know, I can, I, I try and see things from both perspectives. Um, I try and imagine myself in that person's shoes rather than, uh, based on my opinion. It's kind of like when you're a journalist, for example, you can't have a biased opinion. You have to read and and research everything and you can develop your own opinion but you can't make that known exactly because it's just biased and it would kind of defeat the purpose so yes um kyoko no not eat less <laughs> no not eat less because she's so skinny um no, I would probably tell her easy on the temper tantrums. Uh, she's got kind of an, you know, she's got a lot of anger. Uh, with lychee, um, you know what? A lot of people expect me to tell her to stop chasing after Akune, but I'm not going to tell her that. I'm not going to tell her that because she is in love with the guy and she wants to save him. So I'm not going to stop her from doing that. Sorry. I take these questions very seriously. Um, and I can't, I can't always come up with a funny answer for every question. So yes, ma'am. Um, well, first, off, uh, it's a long list. Um, okay. First off, not for her personally, I meant like long list in general. First off, Take uh, theater classes. Theater, 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 improv, theater, um, and then take uh, like possible like voice and diction classes. Take um, let's see, uh, any voiceover workshops within your area. Don't be a stuck up, you know what? Um, let's see. Um, no theater theater um and the reason why i'm mentioning theater is because theater um trains you for everything theater can help you if you're like very you know if you're stuck in your little bubble and if you're really insecure and if you have like a hard time performing in front of people um theater will help you break through that fear however um being in theater is not the same thing as being in a booth because when you're recording in a booth, it's you in a little box, essentially, then there's a glass window, and then on the other side of the glass window, there's, I don't know, there's like three, four, sometimes to eight to twelve people all staring at you, and you are the only one in the booth, you are the only one performing, 
and then between each and every take, that person, the director, will turn to however many people are in the room and pretty much just talk to them for about maybe like a minute, five minutes, sometimes even longer, without you hearing a single word they're saying. So they could be saying the worst possible things about you, which they're not, but they could be saying, oh my God, she was terrible, why did you hire her? Or they could be saying, oh my God, she's amazing, yeah, but you don't know, and it's can be very, very intimidating. So if you are like the kind of person that's like, I don't know if I can perform in front of people. Like, I just want to record for anime because it's fun. Don't do it. Like, if you want to have fun with it, that's great. That's awesome. Do fan dubbing. Like, but, but be, you know, take note of the fact that the people that are doing this love what they're doing and they do it because they are performers. They are actors and actresses that have been working very hard for this for either their whole lives or at least for a very long time. Not only that, but nobody makes a living off of just anime because anime does not pay very well. Um, It does not, honestly. And as much fun as it is, it's not something that you want to just stay only to that too. And honestly, if you're a true performer, don't limit yourself because it's only bad, you know, it's only bad to yourself if you're just going to limit yourself to just anime. So that's, you know, there's a long list, but that helps. Did I mention theater? <laughs> theater, yes. Yes, sir, in the front. Um, I have to watch it a couple more times because the first time I, I didn't get it, to be honest. Like, it, was, it went way over my head, like, at the end, you know. I'm not going to spoil anything, but... Uh, it was beautiful. I thought the art was beautiful. I thought the world that they created is beautiful. I, I think I think it's the perfect story, but it's tragic because it goes awry just like half hour into the movie. You know what I mean? And so uh, the movie itself was, again, like I said, beautiful, but very confusing in some parts. So I have to watch it again in order to truly understand it. Yes. Hi. Uh, I don't know if we're dubbing Rebellion or not. Oh, did it? Yeah, so we're dubbing Rebellion. <laughs> I, man, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. Yay! Yay! Um, I don't, it's very, it's very nerve-wracking when I don't get the okay to say anything, so forgive me if I don't go into detail about it, because I'm like, I don't know, man, I didn't get the okay, so, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like, she may have posted about it. I didn't get the okay about it. So I'm like, I don't know. So does that make sense? But yes, I'm excited. Does that answer your question? <laughs> All the way in the back. Hi. anything about them because I never use them but a lot of people do recommend them so a lot of people that I respect so yeah why not go ahead and use them yes sir what are my hobbies uh well I one of my favorite things is I'm a huge fitness nerd so I work out like constantly. I have not worked out. I didn't work out last night, but I did the first night that I got here. My calves are so sore. Oh my God. Um, but yeah, I love working out. I'm a huge movie nerd, huge movie buff. I actually usually have a movie buff panel, but, um, I guess they didn't want to put that in. So boo. Um, but yeah, I'm a huge movie nerd. I love watching movies. Um, I used to be a huge video game person, but again, I don't have the time for that anymore. Uh, What else? Um, Working out, movies. Um, Honestly, I I I I love hanging with people. I love hanging with my friends and all that. It's a hobby, right? (laughs) So yeah, mainly it. Yes, sir. Dragon Ball. I hate you. I don't have a favorite movie because if you're a true movie buff, you don't have a favorite movie. Yeah. Huh? I hate you. Stop it. Stop asking me favorite questions. Those are unfair questions. Um, I don't have a favorite director. They're different. And not only that, it sounds terrible. I don't remember a lot of them. 
I know, it's terrible, but, you know, either way, yes! Thank you! Oh my god, she said it right. It is not Mikasa. That's your house. One more time. Annie. Annie. No, no, no. Honestly, I don't know. I gave somebody an answer, like, because a lot of people ask me, not the arm wrestling one, but a lot of people ask me if Annie and Mikasa were to fight, who would win? And that's, who's seen Attack on Titan? Who's seen the whole thing? Okay, so you guys know. Okay. Um, well, obviously in human form. Um, you know, I always, yeah, spoiler, um, what I always tell people is that Mikasa, in my opinion, I think Mikasa is very skilled with the swords and the blades, you know? However, I think with hand-to-hand -hand combat, Annie's, like, way more, you know, inept with that, so... I don't know, man. It depends if, if, like, are you, what kind of fighting are we talking about, first off? Like, I know you said arm wrestling, but, like, like, would you, would you think, like, swords or, like, hand combat? There you go. Uh, yeah, then Annie. <laughs> yeah. So, it depends. It depends, because I think, actually, I was talking to a couple of the other guests about this, about martial arts. It really depends on the martial art style that you have studied. Uh, that, you know, depends on what style you specialize in. Like, if if one person is um, is uh, trained in jiu-jitsu and another person is trained in uh, karate, you know, who knows? Who knows who's, you know, who's going to win? Oh, my God, I can't talk this morning! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh, it's going to be terrible. And it's on a panel. Yes, sir. What I what? No. Um, well, when I was contacted about it, I was told, hey, this is a really big show. Don't suck. And I said, okay, who am I auditioning for? So I read for Kyoko, Madoka. No, I didn't read for Madoka. I read for Kyoko, Homura, Kyube, Mami, and Sayaka. And I really wanted either Kyoko or Homura. So I got one of the two that I wanted. So I'm good with that. So, yay! I'm happy. Oh, by the way, hold on. I got to make a shameless plug. One second. So I worked on a really cool video game. I can't say which one because um, it's not out yet. But the client on the video game was such a huge fan of Madoka that he actually is an artist. And he makes his own uh, Madoka art. So at the signing, I will be selling these beautiful babies. Which is Kyoko with a, it says, it looks like Pocky background, it says Rocky background. And it says, Lauren Landa is Kyoko Sakura, so there's that one. And he also did me a little favor, because I said, hey, are you familiar with Attack on Titan? He's like, yeah, and I also know you play Annie, right? I'm like, yeah, but, but have you seen the whole thing? He's like, yeah, I've seen the whole thing. And I said, okay, so you know what she turns into. He says, oh, yeah, yeah, so how about I make you um, a card for Annie and slash female Titan? And I said, what? No way. And he's like, yeah. So I have these beautiful babies. So on one side, on one side is Annie in, in, a, in a dress, which you'll never see, because um, he wanted to show a more sweeter side of her, I guess. And then on the other side is the female Titan. Yeah, baby. So, I will be selling those at the autograph signing because I believe that this man is incredibly talented, not to mention the fact that he made these specifically for me, and they are beautiful and original. So, please help support that, you guys. Um, ten bucks each. <laughs> they, are, they are ten bucks each, but at the autograph signing. At the autograph signing. You, you can get it now, but not right now. Not right now. After the panel. <laughs> Let's take a breather. Holy crap. Yes, ma'am. Are you the Snow White that walked in? You're so pretty. 
<laughs> Hi. So in answer to your first question, um, Aaron has to pierce his, like, pierce his skin enough to bleed in order to turn into the Titan. Why? I have no idea. They haven't answered that question yet, I don't think. Or at least I have not read the manga, so I don't know. But the reason why he bites himself is because he doesn't have any other ways of doing it. So Annie, knowing that she has to do that, that's why she just got a ring. That's why it's so freaky, because it's like, oh, crap, she's really smart. She, because she can hide it, you know what I mean? Like, people don't see her biting herself all the time and all of that fun stuff, which is why in the scene where she's talking to Armin, you know, in the very, I think it's like the 20th episode, um, she's talking to Armin, and, and she, before she agrees to help them leave the city, she turns around and puts the ring on because she knows that she's probably going to be going into Titan form, so it's pretty cool. How does she sharpen it? I have no idea. But I'm sure she, I'm, I don't know, but I'm sure she uses some awesome technique to do it because it's Annie. But I've only seen one Annie cosplayer with the ring. I've only seen one Annie cosplayer with the ring. And it, every time I see it, I'm like, holy crap, that's major detail. Yes. You, I cannot hear a word you're saying. Oh, yeah, come here. Get it, get it. Sorry. Sorry. I'm a terrible toss. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, question. Yes, sir. You're welcome. Um, an actual acting? Oh, honey, let me tell you something. That is never something you want to say to a voice actor. No, I know what you meant. I'm just giving you crap. Um, no, I know exactly what you meant. Yeah, I mean, I would love to go into some more TV and film. Have I done it? No, not really. But that's something that can always arise from an actor's career. Don't worry, you guys. I know that he. I know what he meant. <laughs> Actually, no. A friend of mine. Um, was on One Life to Live. You guys remember One Life to Live, right? The soap opera show? Um, okay, would it help if I said Nathan Fillion was on it? Because he was on it. Nathan Fillion was on One Life to Live, believe it or not. And my friend played his brother, and somebody actually, like, asked him, so what do you do for a living? He's like, oh, I'm an actor. Um, I've done, you know, stage, and I'm right now I'm on One Life to Live. And the guy's like, well, no, like, do you do real acting? And that's, yeah, so I know exactly what she meant, though, like, I know. No, trust me, if you were, like, sitting there with this, like, serious look on your face, and if you said, we have done, like, actual acting, then I would be like, no. No, no, no. So, but I know what she meant. Um, yeah, I would love to do more TV and film, because I'm a huge nerd for it. Um, one of my, I just recently got into Modern Family, you guys. I love that show. Who's seen Modern Family? Oh my god, it's so funny, right? It's hilarious. I love it. Anyway, I, I love a lot of shows. But yeah, I would love to get into that. It's really cool. Uh, Lee, the guy who plays Grumpy on Once Upon a Time, you know, he's here. He is so sweet. He's really, really cool. Very, very nice. Uh, Sean, the guy that plays Robin Hood, um, he's really nice. Uh, there's a lot of really cool people here. Really cool guests, you guys. Like, there's a lot of cool guests here, and they are all awesome people, so... Hopefully that answers your question. <sighs> yes, sir, in the front. Henny and Levi? Wow, that's random. Um, uh, are you texting her right now? Oh, she texted you that question? <laughs> um, let's see. Who would win in a fight between Annie and Levi? She wrote mo ha 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 ha. Tell her easily, Annie. Not because she, not because you know, in Titan form, but Levi's so short. So tell her I say mo ha 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 ha. Um, I just remembered, you guys. I don't have any sharpies with me, so I can't sign it. But if you, if you, I mean, I don't. Hey, you guys back here. Do we have any sharpies back here? Like, there's one on the table right there. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, problem solved. Anyway, uh, 
Let me check what time we're at. We, oh, okay, so we only have like about nine more minutes. So, question, fit in more questions. Yes, in the back. Well, one from Dragon Guard Three is definitely one of them because um, I I don't get to play villains that often. So, and she's she's as villainous as they come, at least in the game. Um, or actually, I think it's vice versa. Like, I think Zero is technically the. Be I don't know either way. Well, yeah, 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 right? Because she's trying to, like, end the world or something, and, like, her sisters are trying to stop her. So that's what's brilliant about the game. It's beautiful. Anyway, uh, one was a lot of fun. Um, you know what? Because I'm such a nerd, I really, really had a blast with Annie. Because Attack on Titan is an awesome, awesome show. So, like, I, I she was probably one of the characters that I had the most fun with. Yes, Snow White. Mm -hmm. Like Snow White. <laughs> yeah. Well, first off, she's not like the other Titans. She's different. Um, and... I don't know why she goes into crystal form. Again, these are questions that should be asked for the creator. I have no idea uh, because it has not been explained to us. But I can I can assume that it is. Um, it's pretty much like earlier on in the show when um, when we first meet the female Titan and when people try and strike her skin, that same crystal thing shows up. So obviously, it's some sort of defense mechanism. But honestly, I think that creating a crystal around herself has been, like, a, kind of a fail-safe, like, kind of a, a last-minute, like, a last resort, almost. Like, you know, if this were to happen, at least I know that I can do this, you know? Um, and by the way, if anybody, if it has been explained, then please explain it, because I have no idea. But either way. So, hopefully that answers your question. Yes! Oh, honey, all the time. All the time. Um, but can I list them? No. Because it's kind of weird, too. Does that make sense? Like, once you've auditioned for a project and you don't get cast in it, you kind of forget about it. Because it's like, okay, well, on to the next thing. You know what I mean? Um, I can. How about this? Let's, let's rephrase your question. Have there been any roles that I would like to be cast as? How about that? Can we go with that? Okay, so I was asking her, not you. <laughs> anyway, so um, one of my, I know, that's why I'm saying as a rule in the beginning of the panel, don't call out. Um, anyway, so, um, yeah, one of the roles that I would love to be cast, dream roles, how about that? One of my dream roles is uh, Harley from Batman. Because um, I, I love Batman. Um, so either... Harley, Catwoman, or Poison Ivy, like three of those ladies, and I would love to play. The Joker's one of my favorite, favorite villains ever. Um, and no, you can't ask me which one because there's different ones. However, I will say that, you know, Hamill was always my Joker and always will be my Joker. But John DiMaggio, who was the voice of Bender from Futurama... He was amazing as the Joker in Batman Under the Red Hood. Fantastic. Really cool. Um, yeah, there's a lot of roles that I want to uh, be a part of. I'd love to be a part of, um, I don't know, like, I, I'd also love to be on Game of Thrones, but I don't think that's going to happen. So, yes, sir, Dragon Ball shirt. Wait, what? Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't know about this. Okay. I'm honestly not too familiar with Jared Leto's work, so I, I couldn't tell you. I saw him as... Oh, God, I'm going to get his name wrong. 
David Chapman, the guy who, who shot John Lennon, uh, in which one? Mark David Chapman. Mark David Chapman. Thank you. Uh, I saw him as play him, and it was very creepy. Um, so I'm sure that he, I, I, I don't know. That's going to be interesting. What was it called? Suicide Squad. I have not heard anything about that. When was that announced? I have never heard of this, but I'll look it up. Interesting. Yes, sir. No, I'm not really creative when it comes to that. I just, I go into the booth, I look at some of the lines, I look at a picture of the character, and I just get into character. It's, it's really boring. I'm sorry. It's a boring answer. But I, I just, I, there's no ritual that I do. And, and actors who do, no, no, no. It's called a ritual. I'm not being funny. It's called a ritual. People, like, say, like, oh, I have this ritual that I do. Like, I, you know, I, I do breathing exercises, whatever. You know, I, I, don't, I don't do any of that. It's, it's, you know, I feel terrible. Yes. Yeah, plenty of times. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, we've been to a couple cons together. Yes. I'm sorry, cannot hear what you're saying, and it's okay. Cave, I, I, I remember doing Cave. I don't remember anything about her. Like, I'm sorry. Like, you have to understand, guys, that once you've passed, like, a certain mark in your career, there's some characters that you don't, that don't stand out as much as others. So sometimes you're like, oh, yeah, I played her. I don't remember. I remember her being really enthusiastic, right? Or was it the opposite? Oh. Oh, okay. Um, she red hair. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, she was awesome. <laughs> I mean, I like playing stoic characters, so it's it's always fun. I wish I could remember more. I'm sorry. I feel bad when people ask me, "What about this game? Do you remember this game?" I'm like, "No, I'm sorry. I only." Yeah, I remember Tales. Of course, I remember, Tales was a big part of my life. We recorded that for. I don't know how long we recorded that for, so, but it, but it was a, it was a while. Yes. Time to tip the scales. You're welcome. That was from a uh, female Robin and Super Smash Brothers. Yes. Oh, that's okay. We're almost done. We're almost done. Yeah, but thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Um, not the new one, but I played Melee like a long, 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 long time ago as Sheik, and I died like a bunch of times. Um, doesn't Sheik kind of remind you of Sailor Uranus? Doesn't she? Kind of? Because the same, like, she's like masculine and she's like, you know, like blonde and short. I don't know, she reminds me of. Anyway, I saw a hand over here somewhere. Yes, Mikasa. Okay, so I'm going to tell you an awesome answer that, that Michael Tatum, J. Michael Tatum, gave. Um, he's like a brother to me, and he I, I agree with this answer, but I still give the fans some sort of response. But first, I'm going to start with his answer. His answer is, well, you know, I don't really think of who should go with who when in the first episode, Aaron's mother is being eaten by a titan. Um... To be quite honest with you, I don't either. I don't think about that throughout the show. But the funny thing is, is that I usually do think about that because I'm a romantic at heart. And I'm like, oh, I can see this character with that character. Oh, I can definitely see. I definitely do that all the time. Not with Titan. The only people that I do that with are maybe like Petra and Levi. But that's because there's that's the only relationship in that entire show 
where you know the other person has feelings for the other person. Mikasa and Aaron is more like, you know, a brother-sister relationship, you know? And so it's kind of, I would have to, probably, I would probably say, like, Petra and Levi, because that's a really cute, that's really cute, well, it's not going to happen now, but um, <laughs> if Caitlin were here, she would kill me. Um, 